back to the Scratch Add-ons YouTube channel. My name is Cool Scratcher, and I have a new cursor. And in this video, we're going to be looking at everything new in Scratch Add-ons version 1.29. There is something in this update that is very exciting. That is all I am going to say. Actually, I've probably already exposed it in the intro, haven't I? Ignore that taskbar. First up is the opacity slider. So this is pretty self-explanatory. This has already existed on Turbo Warp, uh, and I go over here opacity slider and the amount of suggestions that everybody has left us is astronormous this is by far the most suggested suggestion ever okay here here's the dramatic reveal that's the wrong website i can draw stuff it's pretty f it's fairly normal the cool thing that i can do now is i can select anything and down here you can make anything transparent even text works why is this not recommended next up is the project volume slider so this adds a volume slider next to the green flag controls so this is again a fairly self-explanatory add-on green flag oh god that is okay yeah, we don't want this yeah that's how oh, wait turn it down wow so that's not to say that this and this can't work together, they do. Next up is rename broadcast. So another pretty fairly wanted add-on. So if I broadcast something, broadcast, and as you can see, I've written a message and I click here. Wait a second, there's a few typos in this. So how about instead of creating a new message, having to, having to like swap out every single block for this, I could literally just click on here, rename broadcast, and fix any errors in here. Now the sentence is fixed. Oh. All right, now this is a correct sentence. So now, as you can see, all my errors have been fixed and this is a properly grammatically formatted sentence. <laughs> Next up is select stage colors in costume editor. Allows the costume editor's eyedropper to also pick colors from the stage. So I am actually kind of surprised that this wasn't already a thing. Like I don't typically use this. I usually just pick directly from here. I haven't ever tried picking from the stage. But as you can see, the only color that I can pick here is nothing. This is, th there is no background here. This is literally no color. But if I click here and I move all the way over to this waffle, oh wait, it would be nice if I actually enabled the add-on. <laughs> so now I've selected this color of the waffle and I can begin to start recreating it. Next up, there are new settings in the add-on line breaks for comments. So this has been on Scratch add-ons for a little while, but basically how this works is any enter key presses, you know, that creates a new line. And previously, without this add-on, it would just not show the new line. It would literally just register as a space because Scratch is dumb. What's actually new is that you can limit the maximum number of lines that it actually shows. And this defaults to five lines. So here, let me show you. And as you can see, this option over here actually goes into effect. Maximum number of lines. <laughs> so if I actually make this higher, you can see that now it defaults to eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next up is the hide project stats add-on. It's not a new add-on, but once again, it has new settings. Here it says that the padding between statistics have been fixed. Um, and basically what this means is that previously it would be like inconsistent spacing, but now everything's all uniform and it doesn't look as weird. It's also now an option to show stats on my own project pages. So if I, check this stats show on my project however stats do not show also the my stuff page is now supported under shared projects it has all these statistics but what if i don't want this well i can just click over here and as you can see they're all gone and i have some extra options like hide comment count so if i uncheck this then it'll show all the comments and hide hide the broken studio account and this actually is broken it's not our fault it scratches so next up is new settings in the customizable block uh, colors add-on. <laughs> the dark comments setting from editor dark mode and customizable colors has been moved here. So now instead of just one toggle, you can set it to any color similar to how you can set anything else. So if I add a comment, okay, that actually looks kind of cool. Why does it look so cool? Next up, it, wait, we've ran out of add-ons. Actually, no, we haven't. It's actually in this more settings. Here, there's this new um, setting here that allows you to show add-on names and descriptions in English. How do I change my language? Yep, Espanol. Add. Um, no, can we move up? We move to the top. There we go. And the, wait, how do you? Oh, it's right here. I'm dumb. So now everything is in Espanol and I can barely understand anything. Because I can barely understand uh, Espanol. 
Spanish. But as you can see here, show add our names and description in English. This shows in English despite my browser language being set to Spanish. And if I click over here, I click apply settings, I click accept. As you can see, it uses the English names here. Now there's a new feature in Scratch messaging. So I have no... Okay, let me change my browser language before I get even myself even more confused. Do, do, do. Here, Discord. Hello. Please, someone send me a message on my prof profile. I spelled profile wrong? No, why is Kitten DMing me? I asked Jazzy to send me a message, but he is not. Where is the Jazzy man? Guys, if you want to be in update videos, I think you should join our Discord server. Uh, we have a ton of cool stuff. Um, if you want to know the latest events uh, with Scratch add-ons, and you want to get onto the weekly winners, which basically is just a shout out. Or you want to get on the potato board and be like oh, the funniest potato person ever. <laughs> or if you can make suggestions and suggest stuff. I don't know why I searched that. Not to mention we also have a sentient bot. Well, uh, that, that's quite the message. Uh, as you can see here, I can just say something. As you can see, control enter will post it here. This is one of the most hectic videos I have ever recorded. Anyways, th always that thing, press 11 to exit full screen. Yeah, I know you press 11 to exit FL. Anyways, that is the end of this video. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say. Uh, we got the opacity slider. Um, Seriously, thank you for watching and install Scratch add-ons and yeah, bye. I don't know what that was.